just to begin, I, I have so many people to thank. This is an incredible opportunity for us to begin to come together as a global community of Babson alumni, parents, and students. And when I came uh, to the college and asked, you know, how, how can I start bringing together our alumni who are across 114 different countries? I get to travel and meet many of our alumni, but how can our alumni get to beginning to meet each other and to really enjoy uh, understanding all of the fascinating things that all of you are doing? And how can they connect, really? We had Babson Connect events, but they were local, and I wanted them to be global. And so when I first visited Colombia, and you're going to see some of the wonderful projects that I visited in Colombia, including the Manizales project later today, um, I felt that the warmth here, that the enthusiasm of the alumni uh, was such that this could be the place where we launch a successful effort to start bringing together our alumni together worldwide. And so we reached out to the wonderful group of people who are on the screen behind us, our host committee, our student advisory committee, all of the advisors who helped us make last night so incredible and are going to make the next few days absolutely unforgettable. And I can't thank them enough, and I wish we could just give them all a round of, of, of applause and thanks right now, please. And Alvaro and Vincente, thank you especially for your leadership. I know you've been losing sleep about this event, and, and it shows. It's perfect. Thank you so much. Yes. So there are other reasons why it's perfect for us to be here in Colombia. Colombia is an entrepreneurial country. It's extraordinary when you look at the statistics that come out of the Global Entrepreneurship Monitor about Colombia. Literally 77% of the people in this country have a positive perception of entrepreneurs and 65 view themselves as potential entrepreneurs. It's a country filled with a majority of entrepreneurs. So this made me feel so comfortable with this decision and it seemed like just the perfect place to come. Tonight, I want you all to be sure to come to our uh, event. We are honoring two incredible individuals. Ah, Jamie's picture did not come up. Jamie does exist. I apologize for, uh, to, to Jamie, wherever he is. Um, but um, but we're honoring two incredible individuals who are, who are leaders uh, in, in the business world and in social entrepreneurship. Yesterday, I had the opportunity to go and, and visit Catalina Escobar's project. Um, and I have to say that it was so deeply moving to me I'm so excited for you all to be able to hear from her tonight and to hear how she's thought about fundamentally changing the lives of young women who find themselves pregnant and often without hope or anyone to help them. So it's an extraordinary thing that we're going to get a chance to meet with her tonight. And the next two days have, I think, something for everyone. And we're really showcasing the best of Babson all of the most fascinating things that are going on on campus, and I hope that you'll make an effort to either dip into the things that interest you most or join us for everything. And I also want to just emphasize to you that this is just the beginning, and, and that Latin America is particularly strong for us uh, at Babson in terms of our entrepreneurial network and our uh, network of alumni. Um, but we actually have this network everywhere. And so these are just a few highlights of what we do both in the field, for example, in Manizales, some of you will recognize this, this photo when I had a chance to visit you there, um, but also on campus, our Latin American forum uh, that, that just took place on campus that is entirely student driven was one of the most extraordinary events you could possibly attend anywhere. So we, we're global both on campus and on site around the world. And then finally, I just wanted to remind all of you of our mission. Uh, why are we here? Because it's our mission to create social and economic value and, e and, and entrepreneurial leaders who do that literally everywhere. So we're so proud to take this mission to the world. It's been an extraordinary year for us at Babson. I know many of you have seen the news over and over again, but I think before one year passes, it's always good to mention 
that this past year, for the first time, Money Magazine rolled out their rankings of the best colleges in the country, and Babson College was ranked number one college in the country. Number one college. And that was extraordinary, not just because it was number one. We're accustomed to being number one for entrepreneurship e education. But this was number one college, and it recognized the things that Babson has been dedicated to forever without recognition. Value, return on investment. When our students graduate, they have jobs. 99% of them have jobs within six months, and they're good paying jobs. And throughout their lives, they do better than the graduates of other colleges. The return on investment for mid-career Babson graduates is the top in the country. So we know that people go to college not only to become wonderful, well-rounded individuals, and we do that. We have our students take half liberal arts classes, and they're enormously well-educated, but people also go to college to be able to succeed in life and to be able to fulfill their dreams. And that's what we do at Babson. So I am so proud to be a part of this. Uh, I think that the, the message is growing throughout the world this year. Um, we had 21% more applications to Babson College this year than the previous year. 21%. You know, I don't know another established college that's growing at that rate. And what we, what we love about it is that those new applications came evenly from around the world and domestically. So our, our reputation is exploding. And one of the things that I care most passionately about, I think all of you know this, is the establishment of the Global Scholars Program. We want to bring the best, the brightest, the most transformational leaders from around the world to Babson College. And we want to do this without regard to their ability to pay. This year, we were able to take six. Uh, we had uh, students from Afghanistan and, and Liberia and South Africa, Belarus, Brazil, um, many countries. But, and next year, it's going to be even more diverse. Uh, but we have to, first of all, pay for this. It's an expensive program, so we need to work on this. But also, we need to meet the need when we put out on the internet that only 10 of these scholarships would be available to Babson College, we had 832 applications from around the world from deserving young people. So there's a big need out there, and we have to figure out how to fill that. And I would love to have that conversation with, with any of you who are interested in learning more. But now, I have the great, great honor of introducing our next speaker, Raj Sisodia, one of our distinguished professors who has made his name talking about the connection between doing good and doing well and established the notion of conscious capitalism, actually coined the term, and leads a movement around the country and around the world of business people who believe that doing the right thing Within your, uh, within your company is also the best thing to do financially. Raj, please join us on stage. <laughs> 